you guys, it's your girl Liz, and today I am here to check out the Game of the Year nominations with you. Um, I love the Game Awards, I love seeing companies get the recognition and the hard workers that make the games get the recognition that they deserve. Um, I love when games get put on the map, I love being right, <laughs> but this year it's not about me being right or wrong actually, this year is just I'm curious because I feel like there's four or five games even that are equally as incredible as each other. Uh, so I just want to see how it goes down. I mean, I want Wukong to win, um, but I wouldn't be mad if Final Fantasy Rebirth gets it. And I wouldn't be mad if something like Astro Bot gets it. Like... It's crazy. I just want to see who's in the running for the Game Awards of 2024. We have just over five minutes. Thank goodness. I've been waiting for ages. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited to check this out. Uh, and let's go. And the Game Award. The Game Award. And the Game Award goes to... And the winner is. And the winner is. The winner is. Okay. Ten years ago, we began a journey together to celebrate video games as the biggest, most powerful form of entertainment in the world. And on Thursday, December 12th, right here at Peacock Theater in Los Angeles, we will recognize the best and show you what's next with the 10th anniversary of the Game Awards. Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Keeley. That's right, 10th to the anniversary. Nomination is he going to get lit? Today, it is my distinct honor to reveal this year's nominees, recognizing talented game developers from studios big and small around the world. And you can help select the winners by voting right now at thegameawards.com. All right, you've waited long enough. Yes. So let's do it. Here are the nominees for the Game Awards 2024. For best ongoing game, the nominees are ongoing Destiny 2, Diablo 4, Final Fantasy 14, Fortnite, and Hell Divers 2. Your best performance nominees are Brianna White for Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, Hannah Tell for Life is Strange Double Exposure, Umberly Gonzalez for Star Wars Outlaws, Luke Roberts Silent Hill 2. Go Lurk! And Melina Yurgen, Yes, Melina, Saga, Melina, I'm good two. with you, baby. I'm good with you as well. the best mobile game, the nominees are AFK Journey, Bellatro, Bellatro. Pokemon Trading Card oh, Game Pocket, Pokemon. <laughs> Wuthering Waves, and Everything Else Zenless is Dead. Everything Else is Dead. The nominees for Zenless Best Art be. Direction are but it's Astro Bot, oh. Black Myth Wukong, yes. Elden Ring Shadow yes. of the Earth, Metaphor Refantasio, and Neva. Okay. For best score in music, this year's nominees are Stella Blade, Astrobot, No, Final Fantasy VII, How No, Metaphor Refantasio, Stella, Silent Hill Two, okay. and Stellar Blade. In the category of best I audio design, <laughs> these games are nominated: Astrobot, Call of Hill. Duty Black Ops Six. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Silent Hill. Senua's Saga, Senua, two, Senua. And Silent Hill 2. Yeah. Best Adaptation recognizes excellence in authentically creating Ooh. shows, movies, and other creative endeavors based on video game worlds. Here are this year's nominees for Best Adaptation. Arcane, Fallout, Fallout. Knuckles, like a Dragon Yakuza. Fall out. Tomb Raider, The Legend of Lara Croft. I love Croft. Tomb Raider, but this show's like For best me. narrative in a game, the TGA nominees are... Wukong! Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Like yeah. a Dragon, Infinite Wealth. Metaphor, Refantasio. Senua's Saga, Hellblade 2. Yeah. And Silent Hill 2. So, yeah. Games for Impact Silent celebrates thought-provoking games with a profound pro-social meaning or message. Here are this year's nominees. Closer the distance, Indica. Oh, Neva. I want to do Neva. Strange double exposure. Senua's Saga Hellblade Two. Senua. And Tales of Kenzera. I love the Hellblades the getting a little. The for best community support are Baldur's Gate Three. Okay. Final Fantasy Fourteen. Fortnite. 
Hell Divers 2, and No Man's Oh Sky. my god, my eyes are gonna get stuck in, in the, the back of my head. the category of best multiplayer, the nominees are... Hell Divers! Call of Duty Black Ops 6, Hell Divers 2, Super Mario Party Jamboree, Tekken 8, Oh. and Warhammer 40,000, oh, Space Marine 2. Oh, tough. Best independent game celebrates games with a high degree of risk tolerance as they are produced outside of the Is traditional Is Warcon considered system. indie? The nominees are Animal Well, no. Bellatro, Lorelei and the Laser Eyes, Neva, and no, no. UFO 50. No, okay. Next is Best Debut Indie Game, which recognizes a development team that hasn't won a game award before. In fact, these teams published their first game in 2024. The nominees are Animal Well, Bellatro, Bellatro. Manor Lords, Pacific Drive, and The Plucky Squire. For best VR AR game, the nominees are Arizona Sunshine Remake, Asgard's Wrath 2, Batman Arkham Shadow, Batman, Metal Hellsinger VR. I haven't and played Batman, but Metro I've Awakening. heard great things. For content creator of the year, the nominees are Alana, Queso, Alana, Irwan, Alana, No Gamer, Alana, Typical Gamer, Alana, and Usada Pecora. Okay. Part of the Game Awards is looking forward to what's next. Shout out yes, to Alana. We'll have Charlotte lots is of games to announce on December 12th. <laughs> but what's the most anticipated upcoming game? Here are the nominees based on currently announced titles. Okay. Monster Death Hunter. Stranding 2 on the beach. Monster Ghost Hunter. Of Rote, Grand Theft Auto Grand 6. Theft. Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. Oh. And Monster Hunter Wilds. GTA. The best action adventure nominees are Wukong. Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, Silent Hill 2, Star Wars Outlaws, I want Wukong everywhere. The Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. Okay, they had to throw a Nintendo For game best in role there. playing, the jury selected Dragon's Dogma 2, Elden Ring, Shadow of the Earth, oh. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth, and Metaphor, Refantasia. Okay. In the category of best fighting, the nominees are Tekken, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, Oh. Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising, Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics, Multi vs. and Tekken. Tekken 8. The nominees for Best Action are Black Myth Wukong. Oh, it's an action Call game. Call of Duty Black Ops 6, Helldivers 2, Stellar Blade, and Stella, okay. Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2. Ooh. Innovation in accessibility celebrates games that are making our industry available and enjoyable to more people. Selected by a special committee of accessibility experts, the nominees for innovation in accessibility are Call of Duty Black Ops 6, Diablo 4, Dragon Age The Veil Guard, Prince of Persia The Lost Crown, and Star Wars Outlaws. Next up, Best Family Game. The nominees family are game. Astrobot, Astro. Princess Peach Showtime, Jamboree, Super Mario Party Jamboree, The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, and The Plucky Squire. The best sim strategy nominees are okay. Age of Mythology Retold, Frostpunk 2, mm. Kunitsugami Path oh, of the Goddess, pretty. Manor Lords, and Unicorn Overlord. Unicorn Overlord. This year, these titles are nominated for Best Sports Racing. The Crew. F124. EA Sports FC 25. NBA 2K25. Oh, wait, The Crew wasn't Top this year, was it? 2K25. And WWE 2K24. Oh, okay. I don't play sports games or All right, let's take a look at our so. three esports categories. Oh, okay. Starting with Best Esports Game. The nominees are League of Legends, Counter Strike 2, Dota 2. League of Legends, <laughs> Mobile Legends, Bang Bang, and Valorant. The nominees for Best Esports Athlete are... I don't know no one. Alexi B, Chuvi, Faker, Zywoo, and Kong Kong. And for the Best Esports Team, our Special Esports Committee nominated these teams. Billy Billy Gaming, League of Legends. Gen G, League of Legends. Navi, Counter-Strike. T1, League of Legends, and Team Liquid, Dota 2. All right, it's time for our final two categories. <sighs> the best game direction, which recognizes outstanding creative vision game and innovation direction. in game direction and design. Wukong. The nominees are 
Astrobot, Bellatro, Black Myth Wukong, Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Stella, Metaphor oh, Refantasio. Okay. And finally, our global TGA jury, of which I am not a member, has selected the following six games as nominees for Game of the Year at the Game Awards 2024. Okay. The Game of the Year nominees are Astrobot from Team Asobi, Bellatro from Local What? Fox, Black Myth Wu Kong by okay. Game Science, Elden Ring Shadow ah! of the Earth Tree. <laughs> Let's go, Elden Ring! From Square Enix. Give it to someone and else, though. Come on. Metaphor Refantasio. Very, Zero. very, very so interesting. Those are your nominees for Game of the Year. Very, yes, that means very the Game odd and Bell, interesting. Play their themes live on this very stage on December 12th. Ooh. But before then, you should head to the GameAwards.com to help select the winners by very odd all categories. Also, stay tuned for the announcement what? of our player's voice category, where fans 100% select the winner from 30 nominees. We'll announce those nominees on Monday, December 2nd. Okay. The winners in all categories. Very interesting. The, the fact Awards, that Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth is in there. Thursday, December 12th. It's sort of like sad, opening act but exciting. Because Elden Ring Pacific, wins year, year after year after year after year after year and many more years. Our team cannot so, wait to it would be funny if Elden Ring gets it. I hope to see you there. <laughs> and don't forget. But, um, Wukong. Very interesting, you guys. Very, very odd, very interesting. I, I don't know. I genuinely... The Bellatro and Metaphor, though? Over, like, Warhammer? Oh my goodness, interesting. Okay, well, there we have it, you guys. Our Game of the Year nominees are strange. But we've got, I can't believe Elden Ring's in there. That's still tripping me out. I literally wished for that to happen. And if they take it away, <laughs> oh, that would be so sexy and so funny. Um, and deserving, obviously. But I just think out of all of them, Wukong. Interesting. Well, there you have it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>